doctor's name now, I tell you the truth, but uh, he said this is the place where she's going to have her therapy and we're going to do a good job with her and it just takes time, it just takes time. You can't say a week, two weeks, or how long, but it takes time and every day you will see some progress. She's getting better. And hopefully she gets home soon. Better each day? Yes. <clears throat> each day? I'm more optimistic about his future. I, I think that uh, Kenny will, will do good in life. I think this, uh, what he learns here uh, will, will continue to soak in down through the years, stay with him. And uh, I think that Kenny will do good. And, uh, I think he'll make us proud. Mm -hmm. well, he's real determined. He's strong. Uh, he's he's everything that I hoped he'd grow up to be. I hope that you enjoyed the rehabilitation video provided by the Rehab Institute of Chicago. My name is Sandy Jarosa. I'm an occupational therapist employed in long-term care and subacute rehab. I've been asked to come here today to speak on the subject of rehabilitation, trying to tie in the role of the health care assistant into the rehabilitation process. First, let's take an overview of the interdisciplinary rehabilitation team, its composition, and its goal. The interdisciplinary rehabilitation team is composed of doctors, nurses, social workers, health care assistants, dietary, pastoral services, and the therapeutic disciplines. By that I mean occupational, physical, and speech therapy. The goal of the interdisciplinary rehabilitation team is to return the patient to home. Home can be a CBRF, an assisted living situation, a private residence, an independent senior apartment, or even long-term care. How does the team accomplish this? By maximizing a patient's medical, emotional, psychological, cognitive, physical mobility, and ADL independence level to its highest possible function. The role of the healthcare assistant is paramount in the success of the entire interdisciplinary rehabilitation team. Let's explore how. First of all, the healthcare assistant spends more time with the patient than any other discipline. Feedback from the healthcare assistant is respected and appreciated by all of the disciplines. For example, by giving feedback of the smallest changes in a patient's medical condition to nursing, by taking daily input and outputs, by taking weights, recording elimination patterns, the healthcare assistant plays an invaluable role for nursing in providing quality patient care. By acting as an extension of occupational therapy, the health care assistant helps to maximize the patient's ADL independence level to its highest possible performance. And this also includes continued education and adaptive equipment. Let me clarify here by the term of ADLs, I'm referring to activities of daily living. This would include bathing, dressing, and toileting. To continue by ambulating patients, assisting in proper positioning, encouraging wheelchair mobility. The healthcare assistant acts as an adjunct to physical therapy by following uh, feeding and swallowing guidelines. This would include cueing for chin tucking, double swallowing, thickening liquids. The healthcare assistant also acts as an assist to speech therapy. Um, let me just say here that the role of the healthcare assistant, as well as all of the disciplines, is one of always extending to the patient confidentiality, respect, and dignity in order to ensure a safe and clean environment for the patient to thrive in. To sum up, the role of the healthcare assistant is of paramount importance to the success of the entire interdisciplinary rehabilitation team because it is the healthcare assistant that is the key carryover person for the success of all of the therapeutic goals made. At this point, I would like to take a few moments to discuss healthcare assistant care plans. A care plan is a written communication guide completed by nursing, occupational, physical, and speech therapy that reflects a patient's current level of performance with ADLs,
physical mobility and also states pertinent medical information that may be needed. That is, a care plan states a patient's level of assistance that's required for bathing, dressing, toileting, what ambulation and or transfer devices may be required, uh, what feeding guidelines may be needed, to name a few. It may also include such things as weight-bearing status, total hip precautions, continence issues, all the information that is pertinent for the healthcare assistant to know in order to care for the patient. Care plans are periodically upgraded and or modified by nursing, speech, physical and occupational therapy, and it is the responsibility of the healthcare assistant to check care plans daily, uh, noting changes in the care plan in order to provide safety for the patient and continue to maximize ADL independence. To sum up, a care plan is the health care assistance guide for continuation of quality patient care. It is the health care assistance tool for maximum participation in the interdisciplinary rehabilitation process. Through the course of our discussion, I made many references to adaptive equipment. I would now like to look at a few of the more frequently used pieces. First, we have a dressing stick. A dressing stick is used to help a patient doff, which means to take off their shoes, socks, uh, TED hose, panty hose, and also to put on, pull on their pants and underpants. This is a sock aid. A sock aid, as you can see the stocking is already on it, would be used to help a patient that has decreased trunk flexion, for example, put on their stockings independently. This is a reacher. A reacher has multiple uses. It can be used to help someone put their underpants and pants on to retrieve cans from a um, shelf in a kitchen. It can be used to clean up a floor spill if you grab at the end of it a dishcloth, for example, and patients have even told me they've used them to turn off their smoke alarms. This is a long-handled bath sponge, which uses to increase a patient's independence in their ability to wash their feet and their back. This is a long-handled shoehorn, which is very self-explanatory. Again, it would help patients that have decreased trunk flexion or total hip precautions, back pain, in order for them to put their shoes on more easily and independently. The next item is a weighted spoon that would be used by a patient that has tremors in order that they could self-feed themselves more independently. And the last item, is an enlarged handled spoon and that would be used by patients with decreased grip and pinch strength. I want to thank you for having me here today to talk about the role of the health care assistant in the rehabilitation process and I'd like to wish all of you the utmost success in your new careers as a health care professional. Thank you.